going on, Chaotic Crew? It's your favorite semi-aquatic mammal, Chaos Otter. And this is Fae Fridays! Any hoosies, today we're going to be talking about the top five Pokemon I want to get Alolan forms in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. And we're only doing Kanto because I'm one of those people who believe it's just going to be Kanto Pokemon. I'll talk about why in another video. Keep an eye out for that. But without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? Okay, think with me for a second. Stay with me now. Water Dark Arcanine and Water Type Growlithe. Okay, so we know Alola is full of water because you know that'd be sick so imagine one of the pokey rides being an arcanine but it's not just any arcanine it's a water type arcanine a water dark arcanine so it'll keep the black stripes but it'll be like blue or teal colored and oh it would just be so cool it'd be like a water dog oh, just so many feelings about water type arcanine also as you probably know uh, Volpix and Arcanine, Volpix and Arcanine, Volpix and Growlithe, Arcanine and Ninetales were opposites in Gem 1. So they were in one game and the other was in the other. I think Volpix was blue and Arcanine was red. So, you know, give them each, like, give them another typing because Volpix got another typing. I feel like that'd be really cool. And also just water dogs. So it's already pretty much been confirmed to be a thing. But fire type Cubone and fire type Marowak. I say it's pretty much been confirmed because Kiowe, I think that's how you say his name, Kiowe, is a fire type specialist in Alola and he has a Marowak. And Hawaiian dancing with the fire twirling turned that bone into a staff with uh, flamed ends. I can see it, I can picture that in my mind. So I think that'd be really sick. Cubo, Marowak, fi uh, Fire Types. It's pretty fucking neat, yo. That's pretty lit. Okay, so I think I speak for about 3% of the community when I say Fairy Ghost or Dark Fairy Gengar. And I say this because Clefable and Gengar have often had a bit of a theory around them where Gengar is just Clefairy's shadow. So give Gengar the fairy type, really play up that Clefable shadow thing, and then give it either the ghost or dark type to complement it. I was originally just going to say keep the ghost typing, but I feel like a dark fairy Gengar could look really sick. Because you know it's got the spikes, elongate those spikes, make them into like really shriveled wings or for ghost or bat wings for dark. Oh, it could be so cool. Okay, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the yellow-bellied sea snake, but it looks sick as fuck. It's a poison, uh, a poison type. It's a very, very, very venomous snake. So I'm thinking Ekans, Arbok, poison types already, throw on that water type, give them a coloring similar to Arbok's shiny form, except only the gold only on the bottom. Leave the top either purple or like green or blue like something that'll really contrast with the yellow it'd be sick and the ye the yellow belly sea snake is often compared to the copra so there you go can i get a drum roll <laughs> pokemon i most want to get in the lowland form in pokemon sun and pokemon moon is butterfree and I know everybody's saying, Bug Psychic, Bug Psychic. Those leaks are mostly confirmed. Bug Psychic. Let's get a Bug Psychic Butterfree. That's what we all wanted. But from the moment Gen 6 came out, the first thing I wanted was a Bug Fairy type. And I thought it would be Vivillon, and I was so excited. And then it wasn't. And now we have Cutifly, which is cute and everything. But it's not, uh, it's not a butterfly. I want a bug fairy butterfree. Give it the most fairy rific. That's not even a word, and I don't care. Just make it its wings extravagant and beautiful. It'll be so cool. Also, bring back pink butterfly, uh, butterfree. Bring it back. Make that the idea, the template for fairy type butterfree, but make the wings like different. I feel like that'd be really cool. I like that color palette for the pink butterfree. And if you don't know what I mean by pink butterfree. 
I cree every time. But anyway, as you all know, all Good Faith Fridays have to come to an end. And this is the end of this one. Click the like if you're hyped. Subscribe if I made you chuckle. And remember, chaos is life and chaos is love. Autorize.